And I'm coming to you live from Vijay Chowk in Parliament, uh, you know, very close to the Parliament of India, uh, very close to the North Block and South Block. Um, in three hours from now, the Parliament session be will begin. Uh, but what happened uh, yesterday has actually shocked one and all. Um, as far as investigation details are concerned, uh, there are four arrests that have been made. Uh, one person and his wife has been detained. And one another person who's believed to be part of this larger conspiracy is believed to be on the run. Let me go straight to Arvind because let's first get the details on the investigation front. Arvind, UAPA, the anti-terror law invoked um, multiple sections under which they have been charged. Uh, can we, uh, you know, do we know the motive right now? Yeah, uh, Maria, that's a very important thing that the police is trying to uh, figure out in this particular investigation. Though uh, four were uh, detained at first to outside the parliament, to inside the parliament, and during further investigation, they also got hold of one more person. So out of uh, six, according to our sources, that involved in this particular incident, five have already been nabbed. Uh, four have been uh, formally arrested and investigation is currently underway with the fifth one. And the sixth person, Lalitja, is, is on the run. So at least out of six, what the agencies uh, uh, feel uh, involved in this particular incident, five have already been caught and the sixth one, the agency is conducting searches to, to arrest the sixth person. The motive is very important here, uh, uh, here Maria, because uh, these people are radicalized. That's for sure, according to our sources, they say that these people are radicalized. But on 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 what uh, uh, on what account or on what uh, reason that these people are radicalized is something that the agencies are trying to find because uh, we did see uh, in, in previous cases that people have been radicalized on communal lines and there there have been anti-national motive. But in this particular uh, case, these people are not communally radicalized, but these people are radicalized on different different reasons. And that's where the motive behind this particular incident, or the face value, what these people say is that they they are uh, they are uh, telling the investigators that they are angry with the societal issues, including caste uh, caste uh, suppression. They are also speaking about unemployment. They are also speaking about inflation. They are also speaking about Manipur issue, etc. So, to the investigators, these people are giving all these reasons as uh, all these uh, uh, causes as. Uh, uh, something that behind their uh, behind their attack or uh, behind their security breach in parliament. So that's why police at, at some point they don't want to take everything at the face value and that's why they are doing an in-depth investigation to see whether someone else provoked all these people to, to do this is something that the police investigation is currently underway. And if you could see the affair that has been registered by the Parliament Street Police Station, they have invoked the stringent anti-terror law which is the UAPA. Section 16 and Section 18 of UAPA has have been invoked in this particular case. Apart from that, police has also invoked uh, 120B. Delhi police has also invoked 120, invoked 120B, which is criminal conspiracy. Trespassing has also been invoked in this affair. And also obstructing a, a, pub, a public functionary doing his duty. Her duty is also invoked in this particular affair. So almost six to seven sections of IPC and also two sections of UAPA have been invoked in this particular affair. And, and the Parliament Street Police Station has uh, transferred this investigation to Delhi's po Delhi Police Special Center. So according to our sources... Delhi Arvin, Police Special uh, do we know if... Are there more people involved? When we look at this conspiracy, one thing is clear. There were two individuals inside Parliament who jumped from the visitors' gallery to the Lok Sabha chamber. There were two outside who were arrested. Uh, in four, four arrests... Uh, another person detained. But when we look at their profiles, um, uh, you know, Arvind, it becomes interesting. They are engineers. You know, another, uh, you know, the woman um, is from Hisar in Haryana. She was preparing for civil services. So when we say radicalized, when the cops are telling you radicalized, uh, what does it actually mean? They are very distinct profiles coming from very distinct backgrounds. Yeah, uh, Maria, if you could see the profile of all the uh, six people, the sixth one, Lalija, we don't know yet. If you could take the profile of five people at least, one is an engineer, second one is a teacher, third one is uh, Neelam, uh, uh, that particular person, she uh, is an MPhil, uh, she, is, uh, she has done MPhil in Sanskrit. So other two are uh, class 12 dropout. Uh, that, that's what they have, they have done only schooling, they have not done any other uh, bachelor's or master's. So out of five, Three are at least graduate. One is an engineer, second one is a, a MPhil graduate, and third one is a teacher. And two others are, are they have done just schooling. So the, the, they all have met through 
uh, social media and they all had uh, physically met also is what we are learning our sources but one thing that i have learned from one of the sources which i'm trying to confirm through other other sources also that these people uh, at least one from these six they visited parliament in the monsoon session also in order to do a recce that's what i'm learning from one of our sources that so it is it to be confirmed because uh, it, this is a very sensitive information so we are trying to confirm it from the second source also but they have done a recce in in the monsoon session also coming to your question whether uh, there are any other people behind these people at least for no uh, uh, delhi police sources say that the investigation for no is 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 going uh, with within uh, involving only these six people because the information that they have got from these people the people who have been arrested and not uh, it clearly shows that only these six people involved in this particular attack in this particular uh, incident but the police is also conducting its own investigation through uh, social media profiling and also uh, and also doing a field investigation at their at their premises at their location in order to see whether any other people involved or any other people linked to this particular group also very importantly maria that's something the question that you raised is regarding the radicalization because th- this particular radicalization is completely unique because they are speaking about unemployment they are speaking about inflation they are speaking about manipur issue they are speaking about farmers protest and also caste suppression so these are the reasons that they are giving uh, to police uh, as, as as a as a reason for uh, as a reason for their this particular incident and that's why police do uh, sources do confirm that these people are radicalized that they are uh, radicalized to a different ex- extent hmm. that's why they pulled it off but but the but the reasons or the causes behind is okay. something that that's very interesting that that's indeed making our poli- uh, making our security establishment kind of worried because if they want to keep a tab on uh, people who have such issues then the then the bad with we don't have that bad with because the unempl- look at the reason that they are giving unemployment inflation etc so how to keep a tab on them is something that the police sources are kind of worried for now